Hey guys, Tommy Boy 601 and today we're going to be talking about shotguns. Yes, shotguns and all the new updates they just received with the spring patch for Battlefield 4. Now, if you haven't fired up Battlefield 4 in a long time, you'll have to download the spring patch. And the spring patch changed a ton of things in this game. PDW's got pretty much a universal buff. One thing that got a really large change in this patch is shotguns. Now, how shotguns work in this game can be kind of weird. They have a cone of fire, and in that cone, pellets are randomly shot out at varying degrees. And what this meant is when you were playing your game, you would sometimes miss a lot because of how random the pellets came out of the shotgun. And DICE was looking to change that, and I love the way that they decided to solve for that problem. Because how, how do you increase a hit percentage over randomness? You can't really do it if you have the same number of data points, or in this case, pellets. So... What DICE did is they universally increased all the pellet counts for all the shotguns and then decreased the damage that the pellets did so that the shotgun's max damage or potential damage stays the same, but you have a better chance of landing all those pellets on target. So, the following things have been changed for shotguns. Shotgun flechette and buckshot damage drop-off ranges improved. Pump shotgun slug damage and drop-off increased. Shotgun frag direct damage is, has been slightly increased. Shotgun choke cone multipliers are a little bit less dramatic, so you went from a 0 0.6 to a 0 0.75 with the full choke and a 0 0.8 to the 0 0.875 on the, on the moderate choke. And shotgun choke penalties decrease and change in a way that prevents shotguns from being more accurate on the move than while you were standing. And finally, now the shorty shotgun now gets the ergo grip modifier because it has that ergo grip on the front, just not before we saw it. So, with all these changes, um, I decided to jump back in and test out a couple new shotguns, or test out the shotguns, and I made a list of my favorite new shotguns um, from pre and post patch, and they've kind of changed a lot. So, um, I'm going to talk about those shotguns, and then down below, linked in the video, is going to be reviews on all those shotguns. So, here's just the general list, and then if you want to dive deeper, go ahead and click on those links and dive deeper into those videos. So, as far as a pump shotgun goes, my old favorite was the 870. It was my go-to. It had a good medium number of pellet count, and it had what felt like the best range and one-hit kill potential out on those ranges. But now with the change, but now with this new changing of guard of higher pellet counts, I found myself loving the Spaz 12. That's become my favorite pump action shotgun now it has a much quicker rate of fire so if you miss that first shot you have at least a chance to get that second shot off and maybe kill trade with the dude or if they're really bad actually get the kill um now my favorite magazine shotgun so i kind of, or as far as semi-autos goes there's two kind of camps there's the i have a box magazine and i want to reload my entire shotgun at once i like these just because you can go clear a room reload your whole thing and not be sitting there with your finger in your butt hoping that no enemy comes up on you while you reload all those shells and as far as those goes my favorite of those has stayed the same at the dpv 12 i love the 11 shots you get with that gun you you just you just have ammo for days and days and you can just keep firing and that's always useful close second of course goes to it's essentially younger brother the sega 12 both of those box mag shotgun the semi-auto box mag shotguns are wonderful and my final and probably i just picked this gun up i started loving it the m1014 you have to load every shell but has a slightly higher rpm than the than the sega or the dpv and because of that you get into a real rhythm with that gun and it feels good i do have to say shotguns have always held a special place in my heart my first battlefield game was battlefront 2 modern combat on the ps2 my first big boy battlefield game was bad company 1 and I like to play Engineer, and in that game, Engineers only had shotguns. So I learned to play those maps using only shotguns. And because of that, the shotgun has always held a special place in my heart. And I'm sure for some of you, shotguns also hold a special place in your heart. So if you have a favorite shotgun, tell me about it down below. Well, that's all I have time for this. Be sure to check out the shotgun reviews of the Spaz 12, the DBV 12, and the M1014. I hope you guys liked the video. This is Tommy Boy 601. See ya.